Number 34, Ashby Barbie, and in goal for the Eagles, the sophomore, number double zero, R.J. Mackey. Head coach in his 13th season, Ryan Benison, assisted by Fortune Sabanda, Jack Amorasano, and Eric Gazelle. And this game is about to be underway, folks. Welcome to Bridgewater Eagles Sports Network. Something I've noticed, the first time these two, Matt, these two squads have played ever. See, I knew that. Didn't want to say because I didn't want to be wrong. First <laughs> one there, first chance for Barbie making his first collegiate start for the Eagles in the left back spot. Will be good to see how he fares over there in the outside back spot. Mackey goes short to Scott. Now Mara. Back to Scott. Plays that one to Jarvis. Center back pairings. It's been a little bit different this year. We've seen different duos in the center back spots. They usually find a way to make it work for the Eagles. Scott Tamara goes to Jarvis. Looking long. Widrick able to get to it. Tried to get that one to Dunbar, unable to do so. Good job covering back. Tracking back was cast. Scott back to Mackey. Now Jarvis. Barbie under pressure. Able to play it back to Jarvis. Jarvis opts to clear. Sending Widrick on the run. That one will just travel out of bounds and a throw in for the Nittany Lions. Madrano was pressuring. Out by Jarvis. Almost photo O'Sullivan, but Queen beat him to it. Jarvis to Scott. Looking long for Savage. And just hit out of bounds will be an Eagles throw. That was out of bounds by Reeves. It'll be Dunbar on the throw for the Eagles. That long throw could be lethal right over Widrick. Almost falls to Savage. Now Cast drops it off to Barbie. Opportunity to play it in the box. Opts to pass it back out wide to Cast. Gets it right back. Puts it in the box. Over Widrick. Almost fell to Dunbar. Cleared only as far as Madrano of the Eagles. Widrick. Mara. Good ball in the box. Savage. Anybody's ball. No communication there. It almost falls for Dunbar. Cleared not far though by the Nittany Lions. As that one is cleared by O'Sullivan. Able to find his teammate there is Harris. Drops that one off. Good pressure already by the Eagles within the first five minutes of this ball game. Jarvis on the ball. Scary moment there for the Nittany Lions. Uh, Ali and Afta were not talking there. It's, they both went for it and almost costly with Dunbar in the box. Not only could it be costly, but a dangerous play there as well. Yeah, you don't want to collide with it. You don't want to hurt your own guy. Fambu versus Mara. Good tracking back by Mara. A corner for the Nittany Lions, but a good job by Mara staying with him. That pace, it's going to be hard to beat it. Mm -hmm. Unless his cleat pops like it did last game. Did it pop? Uh. Oh, yeah, versus Macon last 10 minutes, the cleat popped. Has to borrow a teammate's cleats for this one. Don't worry. Ordered new ones. <laughs> Hope he can get a warranty for that. I hope so, man. These Nike ones fall apart. That one's out by Barbie. There goes a sponsorship. But, man, are they good-looking cleats. <laughs> Queen on the ball. Good opportunity to pass this one to Cass. Looks for the through ball. Red well there by Rogers. Clears, but out of bounds. Will be an Eagles throw. Good job there breaking out fast by the Eagles. Mara on the throw to Queen. Was under pressure fast. Scott just gets a touch on that one. Was looking for Savage, but Perkins was there. Now Jebri. Good pressure by Madrano. A little bit of a two-hand shove there. Madrano is still battling. Now Mara able to earn the deflection for a goal kick for Mackey. Madrano voicing his displeasure there as he thought he was pushed off the ball. Nonetheless, Eagles do have a goal kick. Now Jarvis on the ball. 
Mackey working quick when he does get a goal carry here. Both times now he's just placed it down and just passed it, not even taking a drop back. You've seen that a lot in these ODAC matchups especially, but this one is a non-conference game. But for the Eagles, the, that quick pass has been very common this season. Jarvis plays to his center back duo, Scott. Looking for runners, just not on the same page there. Afada, and that one is cleared by Reeves. Unfortunate touch there by Widrick. Will go out of bounds, throwing for the Nittany Lions and Perkins. <laughs> Able to get that to Widrick. Dispossessed there by Reeves. Dangerous ball there, but able to get away with it. Good piece of dribbling there. And good job. Tracking back was cast, and Mackey is able to keep it inbounds for the Eagles. Good work there defensively. Came all the way back. Good effort there by the freshman. Got to be careful there if your Barbie just tried to step up. Made the right read, but a nicer move to get around him. Got to be careful of that wing. If you're going to step, especially someone with pace, you got to make sure you can get there. Good ball by Jarvis, looking for Savage, forcing him to come out. Hits it off his own player. There was Ali. Cleared by Rogers. Flicked on. Barbie's there. Madrano, nice little flick touch there. And plays it out wide to Mara. It's going to be a battle of pace today between Mara and... And Fambu. Throw in by Perkins. Nice touch. Good touch there by Harris. Able to escape Madrano and earn the foul. Mm -mm. Madrano earns himself a talking to here within the first 10 minutes of play. Sorry. Didn't last too long. <laughs> Just let him know his expectations for the rest of the game. Free kick here for the Nittany Lions. Fake the first one, and the ball comes in. Good ball in, but just missing the teammate there. Good ball in by O'Sullivan. Was looking for O'Hara and just missed him. That was almost a perfect back post ball. You got to wonder what they were doing tracking back there. I don't even know what the, uh, I don't know how he missed that from here. It looked like it went right through his head. <laughs> yeah, it did. No, it did. It's easier for us here, up here for us to say that, though. Mm -hmm. Scott to cast. Off to Madrano. To Barbie. Now Dunbar. No foul called, but it will be a throw-in for the Eagles. Barbie will be on it. Looking quick to get it to Widrick. Able to find him. Afada tried to get there, but missed the ball. Good work by Widrick. It's Widrick. What a save by Alley. Falls to Dunbar. The shot blocked. Falls to Madrano. Just flicks it up in the air. Anybody's ball. Dunbar. Falls to Madrano. The shot, but wide. Not what Madrano wanted on it, but... Like they were shooting early, and Widrick was quite the run to force a great save by Ali, but Ali in a good spot there on his near pipe. Widrick took on the whole defense there and almost came away with a goal. Yeah. Widrick ranks in the top 10 in the ODAC in shots and shots on goal. And you can see why already mm -hmm. within the first 10 minutes of this one. Goal kick by Ali. He does go far with this one over Dunbar. Fausto O'Hara. Jarvis is there, able to get a touch on it, but go out of bounds. Throw in for Longden, and the Nittany Lions, he gives this one off. This will be Rogers. Madrano pressuring. Able to get past Barbie. Opportunity to play it in, but only goes as far as cast of the Eagles. Now Barbie finds himself on the ball. Able to find Widrick. Good job checking back to the ball. Looking for Queen. Good opportunity for Queen. That one is cleared by Jebri, but only as far as Medrano. Nice little touch there by Cast. Mara. 
Good combination play there by the Eagles midfield. Jarvis on the ball. Good idea by Jarvis. He's got a heck of a long ball. Mm -hmm. Madrano to Barbie. Now Cass. Good work to escape by Cass, but a little bit too much. Could have taken the simple pass back. But he escaped pressure of the first defender and had another one right on his left shoulder. Barbie to Widrick. Great hold-up player Widrick is. No foul there. Nittany Lions come away with it. Looking for the through ball, but goes right to Scott of the Eagles. To Queen. I, did, I do think that got his hand, but here we go. And forced to play that one out of bounds was Afada. Dunbar will go and collect the throw. Good by the referee to realize that was a the hand was in the natural position, just running. It's okay. You can see that one called both ways, honestly, mm -hmm. and we've seen that this season. Over Widrick. Falls to Madrano. That one's deflected, but will be another throw. That one went off O'Hara. Quick throw to Barbie. Unable to find Madrano. O'Hara collects for the Nittany Lions. You can see early on in his first collegiate start, Barbie's kind of indecisive on whether he should step mm -hmm. or stay back. That's going to be crucial for the next, well, couple minutes as the pressure's kind of coming up, but also the rest of this ball game. O'Hara on the ball, looking long, trying to find Fambu. Mara's right there with him, oh. but good little flick to Perkins, but Mara read it well. Back to Mackey, clears that one all the way to Reeves, able to get ahead on it. Now Cass, good first touch. Looking for right Savage. There. He was onside there is Savage. Defended by Afata, defended well. And kept in bounds. Good work by the Nitty Lions to keep that in bounds, but Savage needs to get a touch there. Mackey's got to be careful. And after all that, it will corner. end up being a corner for the Nittany Lions. That's a scary game to play right there. Mm -hmm. I said it a few broadcasts ago. The when I when I was a soccer goalie, I hated coming out of my box. Well, if you're going to come out of your box, sometimes you just got to be a bit more decisive there. Mm -hmm. But you know what? Mackey gets a chance to redeem himself. It's only a corner for the Nittany Lions. Going to have to defend this one well. Our back line has been in the right spots all game. I think they're making these reads look easy. And there's and another one. There you go. Barbie with the clear. But if also O'Hara and Widrick says, uh-uh, not today, clears it as Queen able to get under it. So Good moves put on. But O'Hara clears. Now Scott puts it right back in a dangerous position for the Eagles. O'Hara got nothing but air, literally, on that one. Queen looking for Savage. Good battle between O'Sullivan and Savage. O'Sullivan comes away with it. Longden, out of bounds, was trying to find Fambu. Mara was right on him. Will be a throw in for the Eagles. Looking for Queen. Good turn. Oh. Going down a little bit too easy there. Nittany Lions with a good opportunity here to shoot the shot and wide. Looked like Mackey got a tip on it, but that one just goes wide. He just ran right through the defensive mm -hmm. midfielders, and you got to be more careful there. Quick sub here for the Nittany Lions. As Reeves will make way for Ab Abma. Malachi Abma comes in. If you're an Eagles defender there, I just said they were being in their right spots, and then they showed they were. But that time you got to kind of come out of your spots and just step up and talk, stop a guy that has busted through your midfield. But Longden was just going right yeah. through. That's one of the hardest plays Way as a defender. Many, too much of a shooting lane there, especially outside of the box, to put something in. Looking long again, but this one will go all the way to Ali as he can pick that one up as it was in the box. Charles. 
That one goes real long. Battle between Mara and Fambu falls to Mackey. Barbie to Jarvis. Now Mara. Something of note while we're looking for an opportunity. I do like how the Eagles are playing so free. Maybe it's the non-conference. Maybe it's the first matchup. They're just going out there and playing their game. They're not worrying maybe too much about the scouting report. Maybe the – I mean, they haven't seen this team before. There's no tendencies. They're just out there playing their game, and I think it's going to work. As I'm liking the opportunities we're seeing so far. If you shore up the defensive plays other than, you know, that one play, it's mm -hmm. looked good so far defensively for the Eagles, but that one play is going to be crucial as that outside back came all the way up. Mm -hmm. And it's a hard spot for the Eagles defenders because you got to think – do I step or do I stay back? But no one stepped to the mm -hmm. ball. And that gives him a great opportunity yeah. to shoot. But thankfully for the Eagles, it went wide. I say it to my defenders on the lacrosse field all the time. Why, if a guy's going to shoot, why not step in front of him? You know? At that point, don't worry about your matchup. Just try to stop the shot. And then hope your defenders mm -hmm. behind you adjust to the position. Mm -hmm. That one goes out wide to Perkins. Fambu gets it right back to Perkins. Good ball in to Longden and played back by Cast. That's interesting, though, for the Nittany Lions. You don't see that too often. Within the first 15 minutes, the center back switch as Abma came in to play center back. I wonder if it's uh, now that they're seeing a matchup they like or uh, maybe a matchup they don't like with personnel. Just maybe getting a switch. Or, I mean, it is a non-conference game. Maybe they're just getting their guys an opportunity outside of the conference play. As this will be a threatening kick for O'Sullivan. It'll be O'Sullivan or Rogers. I imagine they're going to have O'Sullivan take this again after that amazing first ball to the back post that almost all... Couldn't be any better than that really back post. could not have been any better. No, right to it. Like you said, it looked like it went right through his head. He kept it under the bar. Didn't go high at all. This is another perfect spot for a back post mm -hmm. ball, just in opposite directions. And it is O'Sullivan going back post. Another good ball, just unable to get anything out of it, as that did go out of bounds. will be a goal kick for Mackey as he decides to go quick again, this time to Barbie. They might be able to catch him out. Dunbar has had space, but they're going to – oh, here we go. To Queen. Queen. Ooh. And oh. just goes wide was Queen. Ali misread that in the goalkeeper position for the Nittany Lions. What a ball from Ooh. the freshman Barbie. There it is. That'll get his confidence up. Yeah, you could not ask for a better, better oh, oh, hello, a better <laughs> ball from Barbie. Oh, my gosh. What a pass. Queen just misses the dinky chip attempt. It's hard to control that, though, but still. I, I mean, people started cheering. I fully thought that was going to go in. That's where you got to control the height from the announcer mm -hmm. position, but, man, is it hard. Right. Widrick oh. almost in the clear there, but Afada able to get a clearance. Widrick doing good to run onto these defenders as they're trying to control a ball and just take it out right from their pocket. Sending Fambu on the run, but Mara comes all the way back. The line's intact. Good opportunity for the shot and saved by Mackey. Good shot by O'Hara and a better save by Mackey. 20 minutes into this one, and we've seen good chances both mm. ways. I think uh, Penn State's thinking the same thing. Maybe they're playing more freely, as I was saying with Bridgewater, just sticking to how they want to play. Mackey with a good save, though. Good spot. Again, that maybe too much of a shooting lane given up. It'll be O'Sullivan on the corner for the Nittany Lions. Go short. Jabri plays it right back to O'Sullivan. Goes back post. And Dunbar got ahead on that one. Out of bounds. Throw in for the Nittany Lions. A lot to like so far from the Eagles, though. Yeah. Even with these opportunities, I think, I think a fan put it best is, we're shooting. Sometimes that's a problem where we just don't take the shots. We maybe play it one too many times. and this team, this team offensively has no issues creating chances. Mm -hmm. You just got to finish your dinner. Good. That's a foul on Mackey. 
Nope. Well, against or off. No. It was a foul on a Penn State. Someone was in there. I meant it was Mackey was fouled, excuse mm-hmm. me, as he was coming out to get that ball. Eagles free kick in their defensive third. Jarvis to Scott. Mackey did good to get his fist out to that ball to push, push it away, but called the foul, too, by being in a good spot. And earned the foul. Good positioning. You get good things. Jarvis looking for Queen. First touch by Abma. Falls right to Queen. Nice little flick pass to Dunbar. Excellent read by Queen to recognize that that ball's coming right back off on the second ball. Oh. Well, Dunbar acting like he didn't know what happened there, but it looked (laughs) like he kind of dragged him down. Everything's all good. Good sportsmanship shown between Dunbar and Jebri. Ali will be on the kick for the Nittany Lions. <clears throat> Looking for Longden, went over Cass. He got up for that one. Longden again, but out by Scott. Perkins just going to let that one run. Nittany Lions throw. Looking for Fombu. Good work by Madrano. Well, Jebri kind of went for Queen before the ball was even there, but the Eagles come away with it anyways. Barbie on it. Got to be careful not to lose it there. Jarvis gets a touch on it, but falls to Fombu. Lets it go to O'Sullivan. The shot by O'Sullivan and falls right to Mackey making the save. Good positioning by Mackey to make that one easy. But again, maybe allowing too much room outside of the 18. You don't want one of those to go in the top corner. you got to give your goalie a chance and put these shooters off. Got to get in the shooting lanes. Mm -hmm. Get them outside. Make the goal smaller for the shooter. Don't give them everything to look at. To Fambu from Abma. Stayed inbounds, but Mar got it to Madrano. Falls right back to Fambu. Now Harris and goes out of bounds. Will be a Nittany Lions throw via Perkins. A little too fancy there from Harris. So he tried to do the dummy and let it slide right through his legs, but Cass wasn't having it. Another opportunity for a shot. Tries to find Longden instead right to Mackey. Good positioning again mm-hmm. by Safe hands. the Eagles goalkeeper. Jarvis to Scott. Jarvis still on the ball. Now Scott. Allie calls that one off. Savage may have had a chance to run onto that one. I think died on the grass. It was coming in hot and yeah. then just stopped. Yeah, maybe some backspin, maybe some – just it's a soft ground today maybe. It was raining this morning, so. It, no, it was. Yeah. And then he just uh, – the defender stopped even trying to shield the ball. That will be a foul as Cast was pushed in the back. They go quick, Too but great. referee says no. The ball never came to a stop. They're gonna, never going to let that slide. Well, they go to the same spot anyway. Scott goes right to cast. Stop the clock. Well, we're going to, the third time's the charm. As we're going to have to wait here as O'Hara is hobbling off for the Nittany Lions. I think it's just a win knocked out of them situation, maybe. There's a hard, a, a lot of people colliding there. I was like three or more. Yeah. Hope he's hope the best. He's hope he's all right. See who comes in for him. That will be Cole Isaacs coming in for the injured O'Hara. Looking long for Dunbar, almost falls to him. Good touch there by Jebri. Goes right out of bounds. Will be an Eagles throw. Well, 
Barbie to Dunbar. And it ends up falling to Harris. Has Fonbu making a run. Good read by Scott. Barbie just plays it safe and hits it out of bounds. Nittany Lions throw. Great read again by Scott. He's been in all the right places at all the right times. As now Perkins will make way for Dylan Goff. Everybody's pointing at every way. Hey, the, yeah. only, the only reason I was waiting to say something is because there was no signal. Mm -hmm. Didn't want to say the wrong thing. Ends up being an Eagles throw. Think, Barbie flicked on by Dunbar. I think the head referee just took a vote there on which, more, which players were pointing, hey. who had the more pointing the right way. That was a 50-50 call. Mm -hmm. Went for the Eagles there. Stop the clock here. But right at the 20-minute mark. Oh. Head referee asserting his authority there as, as Jebri has kind of been all over the place today for the Nittany Lions, showing his physicality. Eagles have been matching it. Mm -hmm. He's been letting a lot of physicality go, but it's been that legal, on-the-edge physicality that you kind of have to let go when players are trying their hardest. Good little combination player between Savage and Mara. Ends up finding Widrick. And the foul goes against Widrick. I'm not sure. I think you have to let the offensive player move around there. That's an interesting call. I think, yeah. I I understand the call. Just I think he saw Widrick, Widrick make contact first. Mm -hmm. I don't think Widrick ever saw him until he turned around and tried to go for the ball. No, it's incidental contact, but sometimes you have mm -hmm. to call it. That ball died again as it mm -hmm. fell to Savage. Savage making the read this time off of it. Yes, nice he Nice move. Hands all over Savage. Advantage called. It's a 10 yard penalty in the other kind of football. That's unnecessary roughness. I don't know what you're talking about. Looking for Widrick. Oh. Almost fell to him. And cleared, but headed well by Mar. And Jebri heads it right back, but only as far as Madrano. Widrick, good ball to Dunbar. Chance to shoot Dunbar. Hi. That'll be a goal kick for Ali and the Nittany Lions. I don't think he got the shoulder down on that one. <laughs> it no, happens. He missed that step, but he got good mm -hmm. contact with the ball. Yeah. Looking long every time so far on the goal kicks. Over Dunbar. But an unfortunate touch here by Isaacs, and it just goes right out of bounds. Eagles throw. Dunbar takes quick, looking for Widrick. Able to find him. Legs get tangled up there. And cleared. Barbie got up for it. Good work by Barbie. Falls to Jarvis. To Scott. Bambu's doing well defensively. Taking up two options. Couldn't pass Tamara or Madrano. Forced to go long. What were you saying, Tyler? Sorry about that. No, you're good. I was just going to say, uh, if Widrick was going for a volley on that last long ball, I would have liked to see that. Dunbar in a dangerous area, but cleared by Jebri. He's been all over the place for the Nittany Lions. Barbie to cast. Jarvis to Dunbar. Goes off of Fambu. Should be an Eagles throw, and it will be. Mara gives that one off to Dunbar for a potential long throw opportunity. Man, this game is flying by. Mm -hmm. Lots of chances making it feel not as not so slow, even though it's a 0-0 zero -zero game. We haven't had a lot of stoppages. Gets it to Queen. One thing I'm noticing so far for the Eagles is Jebri's going to use his physicality every single chance he gets. You're going to have to give it back because he's playing right on that border of legal and illegal you know, fouling, but right there, that was a good tackle. But you got to be willing to, you know, give that back so the physicality isn't outdueled. Should be a corner there for the Eagles, and it will be. Originally pointed to a goal kick, but the AR changed it. Dunbar, the short option, but nobody's there and cleared by Longden. 
Doesn't uh, did we take that quickly? It didn't look like we were fully. Set it was for that. cast to Dunbar. No one was really ready. Looking for Fambu, but Mara's coming all the way back. Good job by Mara. Gets an applaud from the fans. Just dispossessed the one of the leading point getters in this program's history, like it was nothing. Hey, with that pace, he makes it look like nothing. Defended well there by Go, and goes out of bounds. Savage back to Mara. Just not on the same page as Queen there. As O'Sullivan takes it away. Instantly passes to Longdon. That's a bad foul there and probably will be a yellow card for Cast. And that's exactly what it'll be. A yellow card goes to the freshman. Foul on Longdon there. Got nice dirt spots all over his number four. <laughs> They have O'Sullivan on it. It's always going to be dangerous. You got to be careful not to give away these free kicks like it's nothing because he has a good ball into the box. O'Sullivan looking back post. And again, a ball in a decent area, but no one can get ahead on it. Just fell through everybody that time. We'll take it. Two subs will be coming in for the Nittany Lions. Fambu will be making way. So to Harris. As Sunu comes in. And Bentaball also comes in for the Lions. Nittany Lions, excuse me. Scott on the ball. 15 minutes left in this first half. Played to Jarvis. Now Dunbar. Had mm. some space. Kind of went into the defender there. Medrano back to Jarvis. Good decision to pass that with the one-touch ball to Scott. Dunbar has pressure. Good turn by Dunbar. Good work by Dunbar. Was looking for Queen, but falls to Ali. Tried the outside of the boot. Little flick in there, the thing just never curved. That one goes out of bounds. Bent the ball, could not catch up with it. Throw in for the Eagles as Mara will be on it. Had a nice spin rate on that one. Cast right back to Mara. Deflected off of Cast. Now it falls to Scott. Was trying to deflect that off Bent Ball, but good decision to jump and earn the Nittany Lions a throw. He's just letting Go know that he has to go way back for the throw. <laughs> and he's still trying to get away with it. There's the throw-in, able to get that one to his teammate. Myers. That one's hit out wide to Rogers. As Wise and Deno will be waiting to come in for the Eagles. Mara, back to Mackey. Now Scott. To Jarvis. Looking long. Unable to find Dunbar. Falls to Rogers. Good move by Rogers. Looking long for Bentaball. Redwell by Mara. Barbie tried to keep that one in bounds, but ran out of play. Good combination play there by the Nittany Lions. Longdon on it. Chance to shoot and Scott in the right place at the right time. Dunbar keeps it in bounds. Medrano trying to get a little too fancy oh. there. And another foul by Cast. He's got to be careful. That's his third foul. He's got to be careful there, Cast. There's another hard one. Incidental contact, kind of. Definitely you could tell he, that's not what he was yeah. trying to do. Trying to give it the benefit of the doubt. 
I mean, Kaz to make it runs box to box in these games. He's working hard to get every ball. And he gets and up gonna, for yeah, him for gonna, a small guy. Yeah, th throw his body around, and if he takes a guy bigger than him down, I guess props to him. Hey, that's always how I thought. <laughs> you take that foul with pride. <laughs> O'Sullivan, most likely on it again. Good ball in. This time, looked like it went off Dunbar, but the Eagles are awarded the goal kick. Two subs coming in for the Eagles. Denno coming in for Savage as Wise will come in. For Cast. Smart play to take him out. No, now. Cast is still. Savage and Dunbar made way for the Eagles. Excuse me. Jarvis on the ball. I was going to say smart play to give him a rest with the fouls he's piled up. I was going to say that would have made sense, honestly. Yeah, but it's hard to replace that hard work. Good long ball, but just went over the head of Mara. Go on the throw. Over Denno. Good little one-touch pass there by Myers. Bent the ball. O'Sullivan. Good pressure by Denno. Meyer. Good play by Myers. As right after he comes in, Wise looks to be in a lot of pain. May have got stepped on there. I think he did just get stepped on. Unfortunate there as that was within his first two minutes of coming on. Wise a little bit frustrated because all he got was cleated. He just needed a second to walk it off. He's gonna have they we're gonna have to play a little man down if he's does he have to come off because the trainer came on? Usually he has to come off for 30 yeah. seconds, and that's what he's going to have to do. Classic, Chris. Trying to be better safe than sorry. He was down, so mm -hmm. tough call there because you don't really know exactly what happened from the referee's perspective. And tough for Wise, but Meyer does come in in the midfield position for the Eagles. Afada on the ball. Able to find Myers. Good read by Barbie. Gets it to Queen. Myers to Longden. Another chance there, but good read by Scott. Jebry? Excuse me, sorry. Go ahead. Longden, been uh, doing good to just run at our defenders this game. He's gotten through a few times, had that first shot that went wide. But the, someone's got to step up and just take the ball off of him. Scott's been there almost every time, but it's almost like too little too late. Yeah. Someone's got to be there. Almost fell to Widrick. Good little body feint there by Afada. Plays it back to Ali and goes long. We're stepping to their shooters coming through, but it feels like it's almost like a little, you get that anxiety that they're about to shoot, but then they come, we come up and make the play. Meyer plays that back to Cass. They dispossess Longden. Trying to be a little bit too fancy there was Queen. Longton on the ball. Good job by Meyer. And able to get it to Denno. A little bit too big of a touch there. Dispossessed by Go. Now Afada. Gets it to Go. Good read by Medrano. But ends up falling to Bembatal. Hit out wide. Rogers able to get that to Myers. Now O'Sullivan. Good read by Scott and cleared by Medrano. Only as far as Jebry. Too cute there by Penn State. It's not going to fly on the back line here. Good effort there. Chasing that one down was Isaacs, but went out of bounds. Paul will be coming in for the Eagles. And now Cast will be given his rest for eight minutes left in the first half. It's unfortunate, though, for Cassis. He has been going box to box, mm -hmm. but that yellow card makes it a dangerous call there. Just give him eight minutes of a rest, talk to him a little bit, get him ready for the second half. Yeah, give him a little extended halftime. 
cool off a little bit, but also his legs are working a lot. Jarvis, miscommunication there between Meyer and Queen. They both ran away from the ball. Barbie will have the throw in for the Eagles. That one goes out of bounds off Longden. Eagles throw. Barbie looking for Meyer, headed on by Myers. Barbie gives that to Longden. Good positioning there by Paul. Bembatal played that one off to Jebry. Now go. Jebry gets it right back. Abma. Now Jebry. Good battle there between Meyer and Jebry. Forced to play back to Ali. Now Afada. Good job by Queen. He has Deno. Deno with the chance. He has one behind him. Waited a little bit too long there was Deno. Ooh. And goes right off the dome of Go. Deno lucky there to get the ball tangled up underneath his uh, feet there. But what a read by Queen and what a ball. That had to be one touch and a oh. shot. Good move by Barbie. Able to escape the pressure and get it out wide to Widrick. Good defense applied by Afada. A little bit too much by Widrick. O'Sullivan comes all the way back, but gives it right to Barbie. Good touch there by Barbie. Able to find Queen. Good opportunity to shoot. It's Queen and mm. blocked. Medrano. That one's also blocked. Couldn't get the contact he wanted there. Ben Batal is on it for the Nittany Lions. Falls to Scott. Good pressure here with about five minutes left of the first half of the Eagles. Good looking ball by Scott. Almost finds Widrick, but Ali, good goalie positioning there. Good opportunities for the Eagles. Just two block shots. The Nay Lions not letting anything through on net. There's a good queen, though. These last couple minutes here have been making a lot of things happen. Finding himself in dangerous spots. Myers plays that off to O'Sullivan. Has go out wide, able to find him. Mara there. Bembatal. Someone's got to step here if you're the Eagles. Myers on the ball. Played out wide. Able to find Rodgers. Good pressure by Queen. And good tracking back there is Medrano. Oh. Good battle there between Rodgers and the flag. <laughs> I was going to say... Uh... Lost one. Lost the penalty flag. Hope we have some more. Ball boy gets a chance to be the MVP here. Flicked on by Meyer. Now Jebry. And the flag is back up. Jebry on the ball. <laughs> Chance to shoot here for O'Sullivan, but could not get the contact he wanted off of it. Goal kick for Mackey and the Eagles. Goes short to Jarvis. To Scott. Jarvis back on the ball. Just kind of playing it back and forth here until an opening comes up. Scott on the ball. Tried to force that one into Deno. Redwell by O'Sullivan. Bem Bembatal's on it. Looking for Myers. Jarvis is there and cleared. Good job by Queen, but no one's there to help him. Shulgin waiting to come in for the Eagles. Good work by Queen. Meyer on the ball. Queen got a touch in there, but just couldn't get it past Afada. Able to get that one out wide. Looking for Myers. Jarvis pressuring. Good secondary help there by Barbie. Redwell by Mara. Comes out to Jebri. Chance for the long shot. Good job by Barbie. Balls to Meyer. Only as far. Good ball in. Bembatal 
out by Mara. Jebri again is there. Just stayed inbounds there. Good work by Go. Good ball in. Scott is there and cleared. Afada. Widrick almost got there. Rogers on the ball. To Isaacs. Myers with the through ball. Good opportunity to put a ball in the box. Longden. Not fully cleared there. And again, out by Denno. Whew. Two botch clearances there. As it falls to Rogers. Good turn there by Longden. And good secondary help by Medrano. Chance to shoot there. Blocked by Paul. And cleared. Ends up finding its way to Widrick. Able to find Meyer. Good piece of dribbling there. Looking for Queen. Sending him on the run. But he's going to be unable to get to that one. Just ran out of gas. A little too far ahead there. That was close. Close to a big break. That was being a three on two. Rogers able to get it to Isaacs. Now Myers. Good pressure by Madrano. Meyer with the takeaway, but the foul is called on Madrano. Penn State really pressing here at the end of the half. They're getting a lot of bodies forward almost every time as they're told to back up. Rogers. I was going to say it was looking good for five to mm -hmm. ten minutes there, and then these last five minutes, it's really been all Nittany Lions. Eagles will definitely look to get into this second half unharmed, regroup, organize, and talk about everything that went well and could have gone better. Out by Scott O'Sullivan. Chance to put it right back in, and he does. That'll go right to Mackey. Mackey's done well. Mm hmm when he's been tested, he's been in good position. Thanks to our very own Leighton, one minute remaining in the first half. Jarvis back to Mackey. Now Scott. Nobody's there. Afada heads it on. Falls to Meyer. Now Scott. Good ball into Widrick. Good touch by Widrick. Almost able to find Queen just behind him. Good takeaway from Afada. Able to find Longden. Again, right place at the right time is Scott. Denno to Meyer. Now Paul. Good work by Meyer. Paul. Denno. And the foul there, but 10, ten seconds left. Nine, eight, seven, six, and they won't. Five. Be able to get this free kick off because the referee did not decide to stop the clock. We are all knotted up at zero with zeros on the board at Bridgewater Soccer Complex between your Bridgewater College Eagles and Penn State Harrisburg with zero. We will be back here on Bridgewater Eagles Sports Network to give you the first half stats. Thank you for listening. I'm Gianni Maltese. I'm Tyler Carney. You get to meet people and you get to see the people that you meet like every day. And so if community is something important to you, that's something you're going to get here. In high school they tell you like you're not really going to know your professors. That's definitely not the truth here. You know your professors very well and it's hard to not know them. Like you have to physically try not to know them.
these kids are our future. And the more that we can support them and the more they know that they can achieve things in life, then hopefully the further they'll go. The support we get from Sentara Orthopedics is huge. They don't just wrap ankles and provide ice. You know, they really stress of the importance of taking care of your body. Sentara Orthopedics and Sports Medicine athletic trainers help our local student athletes stay healthy and enjoy a healthy, active lifestyle. All right, folks, I'm Tyler Carney here with you. We're at halftime now, as you can see the stats on your screen. I'm going to run through some other sports going on today. It's a big day for sports. we got volleyball, football, and soccer all home today. Last night, the Bleed Crimson Volleyball defeated Avery at 3-1. I was on the call for that game. It was a fantastic matchup. Extremely competitive throughout. Today... Volleyball played Guilford and took it in the fifth set. I believe we were up 2 nothing, but it, uh, Guilford pushed back, but Bridgewater uh, resilient and closed that one out. Football is taking on Macon right now and what will almost certainly be the battle for the top of the ODAC. Macon, though, number 10 in the country, is leading us 31-3. We'll be back with the halftime report with me and Gianni once Gianni gets back. Right now, I'm Tyler Carney for Bridgewater, Bridgewater Eagles Sports Network. Thank you for listening. Your vacation should include sitting, not sitting in traffic. Your trip should include lines at the park, not lines through security. Your journey should involve wonder, not wondering where to find your car. When you fly SHD, spend more time enjoying, not stressing. Endless connection opportunities just a few minutes away from your doorstep. Fly SHD, your gateway to unforgettable memories.
bow time. It's not just football season. It's tailgate season. And this season includes every kind of football. Crispy. Will you accept this leg? And everything that's not. Because it doesn't matter where you tailgate with crispy hand-breaded chicken and scratch-made biscuits. It's fair! <gasps> you're not just tailgating. You're tailgating like a legend. It's bow time. <gasps> Order your tailgate box in the Bojangles app today. You get to meet people, and you get to see the people that you meet, like, every day. And so if community is something important to you, that's something you're going to get here. In high school, they tell you, like, you're not really going to know your professors. That's definitely not the truth here. You know your professors very well, and it's hard to not know them. Like, you have to physically try not to know them. Welcome back to Bridgewater Eagles Sports Network. We will go over the first half stats. I'm joined alongside by... Tyler Carney. All righty. For the overall stats, there were seven total shots for the Eagles, five total shots for the Nittany Lions. One on target for the Eagles, two for the Nittany Lions, forcing two saves for the Eagles and one for Penn State. Three corners for Penn State, one for the Eagles. No offsides for either team. And the lone yellow card of today's match going to the Eagles, Gavin Cast. No red cards, of course. 47% possession for the Eagles, 53 for the Nittany Lions. Now going over to the individual statistics, Tyler Carney. Let's start with Penn State. Aiden O'Sullivan has taken two of those shots, one being on goal for the Nittany Lions. Jaden Long Longden, the guy who's been running right, like just right through people today, he only has one shot. We haven't allowed him to get one on goal, though. Colin O'Hara has one shot, and he's got, found the net with that one, but a good save by Mackey. And Sam Myers also had the one shot, bringing total to five, two on target. Ali has the one save, and Mackey on the other side, though, two saves already, two good saves from a goalie who, you know, usually we got the captain, Charles Swinef, is back there. He's making a good showing today in the non-conference game. Shooting-wise, we got Cole Dunbar, Riley Queen, and Anthony Medrano all with two, but none on target. Our lone shot on goal has come from Trey Widrick, that early chance on that near side opportunity. And that's all I got for you on that. And obviously Gavin Cass with the yellow, but that's a hard work hard working yellow there. But I wanted someone I wanted to talk about was Barbie making his first collegiate start. He's been real good today. I think he's building up his confidence with the good plays he's making. He's missed he missed some early on, but now that he's getting into the groove, he's really making good plays. You like taking the words right out of my <laughs> mouth, don't you? <laughs> No, seriously, though, Barbie really is making a name for yeah. himself today. First collegiate start ever for the freshman mm. in a non-conference matchup, and he's fared really well. You could tell at the beginning whether it's the nerves or Absolutely. whatever it is, just wanting to, you know, get forward a little bit and getting caught out of position. But other sittings, you know, the first couple plays, he, you know, maybe misread them. Ever since then, he has been really strong, not afraid to bring on the skill moves either. Yeah, he's certainly taking advantage of this start he's getting. He's, uh... I think it, those nerves you get, I mean, you get so tense before your first start in a game. You know, especially in that college level, it's just something's different, especially going against a school that, you know, it's not even an ODAC school. You've got to just kind of loosen up. you got to play your game, and that's something, kind of a little segue there. Since I've really liked how the Eagles are playing their game, not worrying too much about their matchup. It's been a good, strong, physical game, but two very skilled defensively teams, skilled offensively too, but... I think the defenses have really been the on top for both teams today. If I have to say one thing today, it has definitely been a battle of defenses. Mm -hmm. And Absolutely. I really think the Eagles, you know, created their fair share of chances, but at the end of the day, we're going to have to keep pushing forward and take advantage of the chances. You know, you can create as many chances as you want, but you got to start finishing those and put numbers on the scoreboard. Mm -hmm. I think I mean we have what was it, seven total shots, and we only got one on target? We've got to start getting those 
onto net. And some news over for volleyball. Reagan Stoop broke single game kills record with 31 in wow. win over Guilford as that one went down to the wire. I believe she's uh, leading the ODAC now. She was tied last night when I called that game. That was a, the favorite game. Um, I mean, what a game. Uh, Bridgewater actually scored 25 points in every single set. Well, lost one of them, though, because of the extras. But uh, got to win by two in volleyball. But Stoop had a great game last night. Doesn't surprise me that she's breaking this record. That she's going to probably break some more this season. Well, if you're telling me she was tied, I can guarantee yeah, you no one else 30. is getting 31 in a game today. <laughs> so we will be back for the second half. Thank you for listening to Bridgewater Eagle Sports Network Halftime Show. I'm Gianni Maltese. I'm Tyler Carney. One more thing. Your sponsor here, Halftime Report. Any local businesses, reach out to us. You want it? You got it. Thank you, guys. Bow time. It's not just football season. It's tailgate season. And this season includes every kind of football. Crispy. Will you accept this leg? And everything that's not. Because it doesn't matter where you tailgate with crispy hand-breaded chicken and scratch-made biscuits. It's her! You're not just tailgating. You're tailgating like a legend. It's bow time. Ah. Order your tailgate box in the Bojangles app today. All right, sorry about that, folks. We had some technical difficulties up here in the booth. But we're going to get that fixed and get the score bug back up when we can. Eagles on a throw now. Dunbar sends it in. As my man Gianni is ready to call now. Sorry about that, folks. I am back. Thank you for taking over, Tyler. And the Eagles are in a free kick in a decent area here. We'll see if the Eagles can take advantage of this opportunity. Dunbar places the ball. We saw last home game against Averett that led to Meyer, John Meyer, of the Eagles scoring on senior day. Jarvis absolutely hammered the free kick, went off the post, and Meyer was there to put it home. Jarvis gets another opportunity here via the free kick. Possibility he just takes this one. Good shot by Jarvis, oh. saved by Ali. Good save. And another perfect shot there by Jarvis. Couldn't really place that any better. He just extended using his full six foot one wingspan and got there. So uh, burned some worms on that one, but great shot, Jarvis, with his left foot. Oh, good Dunbar corner. really had a chance to get that his head down on that, but a good clearance there. Uh-oh. Good corner there by Cast, and Scott just steamrolls Je mm. Jebri there. That was just an I'm bigger than you foul. Sometimes you got to let him know. <laughs> Ali will take 
The free kick in their defensive third. Still knotted at zero here at Bridgewater Soccer Complex. And Scott got a touch on that one. Fell to Dunbar. Madrano now on it, looking for Shulgin. Cleared there by Afada and goes out of bounds for an Eagles throw and another opportunity for Dunbar in the long throw. Most likely looking for the head of Widrick. Or hoping it bounces around and gives someone an opportunity on the back end. And out by Afada and a fishy cleared by Longden. Good battle between Madrano and Myers. Myers comes away with it. Pass that one to Longden, but out and near the houses by Scott. Trying to take out a bird nest or something. It's a big tree back there. We'll see who goes and chases that one. Where? Perkins on the throw. Able to find the shot and somehow oh. doesn't go in off both posts. Too much space again at the top of the 18. Mackey and just missing the save, but ends up hitting both posts. Okay. Good call by Mackey. Picks that one up, and the Eagles escape a big opportunity there. Well, we're a radio broadcast right now. We lost the camera again. We're going to get this fixed as we'll keep talking, trying to get as much as we can. Okay, Jarvis in the defensive okay. third. I'll say that. We'll be right back as we're going to have to get this fixed. We'll update you when we return. All right. We're back. G? We are back here. I got you guys with the play-by-play. -play. Kind of a botched kick there, but able to find Fambu. O'Sullivan. Through ball looking for Longden. Mackey comes out. What a save by Mackey. Makes up for that kind of misread on the shot. And high and wide by Harris. Camera. How does it keep going? Oh. Sorry, I'm going to throw something. Couldn't find the words. Okay. We are in, the Eagles are in their own defensive third right now. Cast is on the ball. Passing that to Scott. Still right out of their 18-yard box is the Eagles. Jarvis back to Scott. Go. Scott goes long looking for Shulgin. Good touch by Shulgin. Was able to keep that inbounds with his first attempt. And then it did end up going out of bounds. Will be a throw for the Nittany Lions. Excellent show of speed there by Shulgin on the far wing. Perkins on the throw. Able to find his teammate Myers. And Madrano ran him out of bounds. Dunbar will have the throw. Apologies for the technical difficulties. We are back here. There's 35 minutes left in the second half for Bridgewater Soccer Complex. Thank God nobody scored, huh? Didn't want to miss that one. Mm -hmm. Foul there. Push in the back from Longden. It'll be an Eagles free kick. Jarvis will be on it. Jarvis with the big left foot. I wonder what he'll cook up this time. Try to hit this one back post. Mm -hmm. Give runners a chance Put to get a good onto shot it. shot on last time. Man, go for the shot. No. Yeah, that'd be something. Looking for Widrick. Good ball. 
but the shot goes wide by Widrick. Ali will have the goal kick for Penn State. Cass got a touch on that one for the Eagles. Falls to him. Good work by O'Sullivan. And Queen comes back and earns it for the Eagles. Shulgin back to Barbie. Good touch by Barbie. Able to find Cast. Good job funneling that out by the Eagles midfield. Jarvis on it. To Cast. Longden almost with the takeaway, but falls to Jarvis. Looks long towards Mara. Fell to Shulgin. Now Mara to Queen. Widrick oh, looking header. for Dunbar. Dunbar! Oh, yeah. Got it! He scores! Oh, no. But the handball! Dunbar thought he had one. And they call it a handball. And Ali tries to kick it right away. He'll have to do that one. Again. Chainling is in her Maradona with the handball offensively in the box, but they saw that one. No hand of God action today. That was a close call. He definitely used it to his advantage, though. Not on purpose. Not on purpose, but it paid off in his advantage. Too bad. Good look for the Eagles, though. Got to be a confidence builder. He scored a goal. It just didn't count. And Dunbar is still on it, earning the Eagles a throw. Passes that one quickly to Widrick. Good work by Widrick. Widrick has a chance to shoot. What a tackle there by Longden. It's still there. Falls to Medrano. Goes off Jebry. Referee had the whistle in his mouth but decided not to call it. Passes that one to Myers. O'Sullivan not able to find Harris. Good work there by Barbie. Let it run out of play. The Eagles will have a throw. Eagles looking threatening here. In the second half. Cast on the ball. To Queen. Let that one run out of bounds. That was close. Will be a Nittany Lions throw. Myers flicks that on, but Jarvis is there. Clears that one only as far as Jebry. Queen coming back. Good job defensively. Falls to Scott. Now Mara. Good work by Mara. Looking long towards Widrick and Shogun. Good defense applied. Oh, no. By Abma. Goes out of bounds. Will be another Eagles throw. And the ball boy has yet another fun job. Yeah. Trespassing. <laughs> the most fun of them all. <laughs> Dunbar on the throw. Oh. Out by Afada, falls to Queen. Medrano, that shot goes way wide. Will be a goal kick for Ali and the Nittany Lions. I'm liking Medrano's willingness to shoot all game from, I mean, just about anywhere. He's confident. He's just he just hasn't been getting the power in the direction he's been wanting on it. As Perkins makes way for go. Good touch by Shulgin. And he hit that one out of bounds. Good battle between Harris and Shulgin. As Rodgers will be on the throw. First, another sub for the Nittany Lions. As O'Sullivan will make way for Bembatal. Ben Batal instantly asking for the ball. Flicks that one on, but only as far as Medrano. Cast able to find Dunbar. Plays that one out wide to Mara. Good job by Widrick. Looking for an opportunity to pass this one. And gets the deflection and earns the corner for the Eagles. 
Cass will make his way over to the flag to take this corner. Good job by Woodrick there. Kind of had to dance in a phone booth. He got trapped by two Navy Lions, but able to get out of it. He didn't really have many options there, so good job there in the corner. Under attack here by these bees. Ah. <laughs> Is this play-by-play -play or a comedy show? Welcome, mm -hmm. Tyler Carney. Good touch by Madrano. Almost earned another corner there, and it did go out of bounds, but it will be a throw for the Eagles. This thing just landed on my face. I don't know if that's a comedy show or a horror movie, dude. <laughs> the Bees making an appearance after Friday the 13th. Good throw by Dunbar. Widrick, it's still there. And good goalkeeping there by Ali. Able to catch that one. And take the harm out of that one defensively for the Nittany Lions. Fakes the quick throw. Ops for the punt. a rocket of a punt, handball. Able to find Fambu, but now Widrick is on it for the Eagles. Another sub waiting to come in for the Nittany Lions. Dunbar is on it. Be a throw-in for the Eagles. Scott makes his way from the center back spot to get in the box. Give a big target for Dunbar on this throw. Dunbar's looked dangerous all game long. Abma with the clearance. Now Fambu on it. Able to find Bembatal. Good read by Barbie. Queen comes away with it. Now Jebri plays that one to Myers. Jebri back on it. Now Longden. Looking long for Fambu, but instead finds Mackey. Good positioning there by the goalkeeper. Good kick by Mackey. Widrick flicks on. Almost able to get oh. that one himself. But cleared by Afada. It was the goalie assist there. Good work by Cass getting up for that one again. Dunbar's on it. Passes that one back to Mara. And earns the Eagles a throw. Good work by Mara. Gives the throw off to Dunbar. Approaching the 25-minute mark in this contest. Flicked on by Scott and cleared by Jebri. Only as far as Jarvis. Tamara. Bembatal got a touch on it and then it fell to Fambu. Bembatal back on it. Widrick pressuring. Afada now on it. Cass got a touch on it but rolls out of bounds. Will be a throw for the Nittany Lions via... Rogers, but first a substitution will be made. As Myers will make way for Isaacs. Good touch there. And good takeaway by Shulgin. Just unable to find Widrick. Good tracking back by Longden. Fambu gets a touch on it. Able to find Isaacs. And good read by Mackey. Gets a hold of it. Mackey been a solid presence back there in his the start he gets. When he's been called upon, he's made that save. Cast, other than the help by not one, but both posts. I was going to say, I hope, he got, I, was, I hope he thanked his posts. <laughs> you got to give them a kiss after that one. Handball, there, good call and the advantage. Handball, handball back there. Handball was on Harris. Coleman waiting to come in for the Eagles. Jarvis plays that one quickly to Scott. Looking long 
for Queen or Dunbar. Dunbar flicks it on. Falls to Queen, who is onside. That one looked like it rolled out of bounds. I have no idea how that one's still in bounds, but the other one wasn't. Harris on the ball, able to find Bembatal. And taken down by two Eagles. Cass has to be careful. <clears throat> got to keep calm. This Cass gets another talking to. You, you got to feel bad for Cass, man. Smallest guy out there just going into every tackle, every header, but coming out on the back end of it with the foul. So he does have to be careful as that substitution may be for him as Paul also makes his way to the line for the Eagles. Rodgers with the kick over Fambu. Jarvis got a head on it. Longden keeps it there. Abma now on it. Good work by Medrano. Good move to escape the pressure. Looks long, sending Dunbar on the run. So to go, as go is forced to kick that one out of bounds and an opportunity for the substitutions for the Eagles. Smart to take cast off here. You don't want to lose him, especially with W and L just a few short days away. That'll be, that'll be their last home game, actually, the Eagles. Back to back. So that one should be on Wednesday here at Bridgewater Soccer Complex. At 4 p.m. Dunbar with the throw. Over Coleman. Almost falls to Paul, but Longden with the clearance. Barbie just tried to clear that one. Stays in bounds. Fambu on the ball. Passes that one to Longden. Good run by Isaac. Scott again. Scott was there and cleared by Jarvis. Only as far as Jebry. Jebry's been everywhere for the Nittany Lions. Their anchor defensively and offensively. Harris dribbling through. Paul is there. Bembatal chance to shoot and blocked by Barbie. Falls to Isaacs. But Mara says, nuh-uh, kicks that one out of bounds. Will be a Nittany Lions throw. Go will be on the throw. Paul gets ahead on it. Good tackle by Mara. And earns the Eagles a throw. What a tackle. It's another one of those taking a vote on who's pointing more. 50-50 ball, but... 50-50 call went with the Eagles again. Gotta love it. Scott takes the throw. Dunbar gets ahead on it. Flicks it up towards Queen. Able to get ahead on it looking for Coleman, but Abma was there. Jebri on it. Medrano tracking back. The yellow card goes to... Medrano. You want to comment on that one? I know you don't. I really don't. <laughs> um, I can see the hand fighting, but it's been letting it slide. Uh, they've, they've been letting it slide, but I get it. I get the call. The yellow may be a bit harsh, but... No, it was a foul. It, it was, was a it foul. It was absolutely a foul. It might have been a foul the other way, too. But if it, I think a 50-50 like that, you can't hand a yellow to a player. But... I see where he's coming from. Thank you for that. That was kind of 50-50, though. Both both using their hands a little bit too much. Referee deemed it as a yellow. Madrano, it's the second yellow card for the Eagles, and it's been two midfielders getting the yellows. Got to be careful in the midfield. With just about 20 minutes remaining in this contest, it'll be... Bembatal. Rogers with the kick. It's in the box and goes wide. Not sure how nobody got a touch on that one again. I think Jabri had the best look at it, but he uh, went down. I think he was going down to try to get a quick touch on it, but just missed. So that's another time Penn State's kind of bailed us out. Not getting a touch on the ball into the box has 
Falls sure to, what happened there. Falls to Coleman. Now Shogun with a good opportunity. A fighter defending for the Nittany Lions. Head coach Ryan Benison not too happy with that one. We were mm. called for being too handsy. Foul by Coleman. Eagles got to be careful to not let their frustrations get the best of them. Ali will come all the way out for the free kick here in their own defensive third. He's got the cannon attached to his hip. Let's see what he does with it. <laughs> He'll go a little Allen back chest. spin. Able to get the flick, though, by Harris. Almost fell to Fambu, but Scott was there. Go. Decides to keep this one inbounds. Able to find Jebri in an impressive manner there. Dunbar back to Medrano. Bembatal falls to Shogun. Gets it to Coleman. Tried to hit that one out wide to Barbie. Just had too much on that one. The idea is there. But on the back heel a little bit now, the Eagles after a lot of fouls. Substitution will be made for Penn State. As Isaacs will make way as O'Sullivan enters the game. Bambatal on the ball. Good ball towards Fambu. Able to escape Jarvis, but Mackey is there. Good read again by the sophomore goalkeeper. Jarvis to Paul. Now Scott. A lot of talk from the Penn State back line trying to get organized, something... A look they didn't like was happening, but see if we can take advantage. I was just going to say, unable to take advantage of it so far as the Eagles. O'Sullivan passes that one back and cleared by Go. The strike. Swing and a miss. Harris uh -oh. on that one, but the foul by Mara. But always will show sportsmanship. Helps Harris come right back up. Instantly played there to go. Harris played that one back to Jebri. O'Sullivan. Longden, but Redwell again by Mackey. Able to come away with that one. Savage and Wise waiting to come in for the Eagles. As the substitution also waiting to come on the pitch for the Nittany Lions. Longden didn't take advantage. I don't think he realized he could have turned and had space there. That's Is where he, you rely on communication. Yeah, the Eagles are just, I mean, it's just too much space just outside that top of the box. Savage comes in for Dunbar. And Wise comes in for Queen. As Cahoon comes in for Fambu. Oh, good touch out there. Good touch by Harris and fouled by Coleman. Again, I think it's the frustration of both teams here as it's getting more and more physical. It's been a physical battle, but now with just the zero to zero still on the board and Bridgewater having that goal wiped away, it's showing. And that frustration, whoever can channel that into a, you know, a good attack is going to be the one that's going to end up taking this game. Well, they weren't able to take advantage of their chances versus Macon last game, so they are looking to take advantage this game and haven't really been able to. About 15 minutes left, looking to get on the scoreboard. Good ball in. Mackey is there, and with the hole. Good job by Mackey. That ball was played in again by O'Sullivan. Goes quick and short to Barbie. Impressing in his first collegiate start is Barbie. Looked for Coleman. Found good touch there by Rogers, but ended up going out of play. The captain of this Penn State team. 
<laughs> Barbie to Shogun. To Wise. Plays it safely to Scott. Now Jarvis. Looking long for Savage. Ball, just unable man. to find him. Good ball. That left-footed whip with Jarvis just missing Savage. Fell to Ali. And quite the, quite the play to play back. And Scott is there with an authoritative header to Shulgin. Good simple pass there to Barbie. Just unable to find Paul. Caught flat-footed there. <laughs> Bombatol. Savage just pushed right off the ball by O'Sullivan. Foul is called. Some gamesmanship. As Scott will be on this one for the Eagles. Looking for Shogun. And able to find him. Good opportunity for Shogun, unable to capitalize there as Bembatal with the takeaway. Cahoon finds nobody, will be an Eagles throw. Barbie will be on the throw. Able to find Shogun, good first touch. Now looks for Paul. Instead, finds Cahoon. Of the Nittany Lions. Hit out wide. Good ball to go. Unable to find Harris as Scott was there. Good work all game long by Scott. Coleman trying to be a little bit too fancy looking for Savage. Abma. Long ball. Look for the switch there. Looking for Rogers. Unable to find him. Barbie on the throw. Good high press by Coleman there to force a bad pass. But passes it. With the giveaway on the throw right to Rogers. Longden to Bembatal. Now O'Sullivan with pressure applied by Madrano. Out wide to Rogers. Played back to O'Sullivan. Now Cahoon. Takeaway was wise. Savage on it for the Eagles. And foul is called. And then, interestingly, Jabri decides to almost take out his own teammate and will get a yellow. Surprising that Jabri hadn't been handed one yet. He's got a lot of fouls this game. He's been involved in a lot of physical battles. I understand the frustration, but taking it out on your own mm -hmm. bench. Yeah, I think I've seen that before. You have. Hmm? You haven't or you have? I haven't. I was going to say, yeah. I don't know who does that one, but... Nonetheless, 13 minutes left in this contest. And the Eagles have a free kick. Scott will be on it. Three total yellow cards have been issued in this game. Longden got a touch on it, and Coleman was in a battle with the referee to get some space. Able to find Cahoon. 1v1 with Jarvis. Coleman comes all the way back. Good effort by him. And able to... Get it out of bounds. But Bembatal, good battle between those two. Will be a throw for the Nittany Lions. Good work, Fon. Keep it up. As Fonbu will be coming back into the game for Penn State. Throw in here by Longden. <coughs> Substitutions will be made first for the Nittany Lions. Fonbu as Harris makes way. And Cahoon makes way for Myers. And as I mentioned, Longden on the throw. And Paul got a touch on it and cleared by Barbie. Sending Coleman on the run, but that will run out of bounds. Another sub for Penn State. As it will be Manns. And Longden makes way. Ready, 
Rogers on the throw, able to find Myers. Good effort by Shulgin to Coleman. Back to Shulgin. Good piece of dribbling by Shulgin. Looking oh. for Savage. Almost there. Great play by Abma. Mm -hmm. What a defensive stand to Adma. They, I mean, Last not, who, man. not who you want behind the defense is Lissette Savage. Been in a little bit of a scoring drought. Hit yeah. five goals early in the season and hasn't been able to put one away in a long yeah. while. Yeah, those first few games we did together, it felt like it was he came off the bench and scored a goal. That was his. Super sub. Yep. Falls to Scott. Out wide to Mara. Good first touch with a difficult ball to handle. And then taken down by Fambu. Nothing called. Falls to Scott. Now Jarvis. Barbie. To Coleman. Good turn by Coleman. Stayed inbounds. Now it'll run out of bounds. Will be an Eagles throw. Jarvis wanted, I think it was... Wise outside on the back post, but couldn't hit good closeout, couldn't get the ball off. Played back by Barbie to Jarvis. Now Scott. Savage on the ball. Able to escape two defenders and almost find Mar, but Adma again is there for the Nittany Lions. And some more trespassing for the ball boy. <laughs> <laughs> there is a dog that lives at that house, so uh, hopefully I, no chew marks on the... My dog loves <laughs> soccer balls. I hope there's no chew marks on these game balls. Paul almost got ahead on that one. Falls to Rogers. Just cleared that one up. Looking for Myers. Good call by Mackey, able to find Scott. Tamara, another sub waiting to come in for the Nittany Lions. Takeaway from F Mara was Fambu, able to find O'Sullivan. Madrano tracking all the way back. Has a runner in the box. Good work by Madrano to not allow the cross to go through as Mans was in the box, kind of alone there. Will be a corner for the Nittany Lions. O'Sullivan will be on it. Substitution will be made. Terrace, I think, coming in. Eleven's back in, but nobody's off the field. Harris comes in, and finally, Ben Batal makes his way off. Under ten minutes remaining. O'Sullivan, good back post ball, and Mackey got a hand on it. Good work by Mackey. Savage, good read there by Rogers. Chance to put it in, and Mackey is there with the hold. When Mackey has been tested, he has been there and has been up to the task. To Jarvis. Barbie, back to Jarvis. Back to Mackey. Now Scott. It'll be Longden waiting to come in for the Nittany Lions. That one is cleared by Afada, but good win by Coleman. Able to find Shulgin. Now Savage. Tried to find Shulgin with the 1-2, but just hit it a bit too hard. Cast and Dunbar and Queen waiting to come in for the Eagles. Longden comes in as Mans makes way. Dunbar will come in for Shulgin. Cast will come in for Paul. And Queen comes in for Wise. That'll complete the flurry of subs. Surprised to see those three come back in so late into the game. Maybe put them in a little sooner, but saving their energy. This is last push. Try to get a win here. Queen makes his presence felt immediately. Queen forces the turnover, really. Throw in for the Eagles as Barbie is trying to not only 
notch his first start, which he has, but lasts a full 90 minutes. Harris hit that one up, but Scott with the takeaway. Falls to Madrano, looking for Coleman. Abma got ahead on it. Rogers flicked that one up. Now Harris is on it. Cass coming back. Looking for Fambu. Mara is there. Just hits that one out. Savage trying to keep it inbounds. And is able to do so and earn the foul. Good work by Savage. Good hustle play there. Scott will be on the kick. Scott goes long, looking for Dunbar. Afada with the header. Now Harris on it. O'Sullivan clears. Looking for Myers. He flicks it on. Jarvis clears. Looking for Savage. Good play by Go, but it'll go out of bounds. Will be an Eagles throw. Dunbar will make his way over for it. The last game that was at Bridgewater Soccer Complex was a late winner with about four minutes left over Averett. That was John Meyer on Senior Day. Scott coming way forward now. And the Eagles have shifted into almost a 4-2-4 formation. <laughs> almost fouled to Dunbar. Medrano! And good oh. save by Ali. It was still there, but cleared by Rogers. Medrano finally gets the shot he wants off. That was like his Good fourth save, long uh, shot attempt. I think we're offside. They're here. both offside. Now we're not. Now onside. Savage to Queen. Had a chance to shoot. Cast is on it. Played out wide to Mara. Good ball in. Good clearance there. Last ditch clearance by Rogers. Queen is on it. Back to Barbie. To Cast. Man on and is fouled. Good sportsmanship shown between Cast and Myers. Love to see that. Under five minutes remaining. Good opportunity for Jarvis to play this one back post. This 4-2-4 shift seems to be working with the formation. It was Medrano and Cast filling out the midfield. Basically just helping out as more forwards. Good ball in. But Go was able to get to it. Mara is on it. Plays that one to the center back. All the way out wide is Scott. Dunbar earns the corner. Mm -hmm. And the fans love that call. Dunbar can play it short if he wants to. Fakes it. Says, nah, you got it, Cast. Cast will have the corner. He's had a couple good corners in this one. Mm -hmm. Two out one on it with the outswinging ball coming. Got to just give someone a chance to get ahead on it. Cast. Oh, that did not look good for Scott. The captain is down. Scott was kind of taken out there. Since it's in the box, I don't know if you call that a PK, but kind of got clotheslined. A lot of talk from the ref to not call a foul. Scott able to walk this one off. Good to see for the Bridgewater captain. He came down hard. Mm -hmm. I mean, he, he took a shot to the face. I mean, I'm surprised nothing gets called there, but a drop ball. Well, because he was the one who had a chance to get to that header, and he was mm -hmm. just taken out. I mean, I, I, I don't think Scott falls over like that by himself often. Uh-uh. <laughs> Takes a lot to make him go down like that. Good to see Scott up and walking. Ali has it for the Nittany Lions. Clock is running. Some interesting advice. Cast on the ball. Abma, good work by Coleman. Good battle. Unable to find Dunbar as it fell to Harris. Now Longdon. Dunbar with the takeaway. Play back to Barbie. To Cast. 
some skipping going on from Penn State instead of tracking back and playing defensive if they're not getting the call. I know. I love Mike to see that. Here. Cast. What a touch. Good touch by Savage. Go tracking back. Savage, a chance to Queen. Almost felt a cast. He can pass this one off to Dunbar. The one-touch shot ends up being a pass. And out by Abma. Able to find Fombu. Smart read by Coleman there to adapt to the kind of a mishit shot by Dunbar. Went right off Nobody the hand, but apparently in a natural position there for the Nittany Lions. Fombu on it. And Mackey able to get there. Good work by Mackey. Takes the quick throw to Barbie. Good work by Dunbar. Good touch. Able to find Queen. Pressure by Jebri. And long. In. And it'll be an eagle. No. I don't know how, but that'll be a Nittany throw. Lions throw. O'Sullivan on it. Good job tracking back with Savage. Madrano. Fouled, but where's the oh, advantage the, there? The advantage. Oh, yeah. Had to stop the play to give O'Sullivan a yellow. Fair enough. And the clock is stopped. And another yellow dished out. Both for Nittany Lions? Yes. I think that brings the total to five total yellow cards. Mm -hmm. was, what, was that to Riley? Or? That could have been to Queen. Did he say too much, maybe? Uh, he, he didn't stop running his mouth. That might be a yellow for Queen. You couldn't really tell because they were yeah. all so far away. Sorry about that. I'm not clock. sure which one it was. But the clock is stopped with just about two minutes left. <laughs> to it. Jarvis can cook up with the big left foot. Couldn't get past the first man as it falls to Fombu. Commentator jinx. <laughs> O'Sullivan on the ball. Good tracking back by Medrano. Came all the way back. Falls to Mackey with the clearance. Go, able to find Myers. Good job by Cast. And good tackle by Madrano. The th mm. First uh, substitution for the Nittany Lions. Ben Batal will come in. As I believe O'Sullivan made way. Go will have another opportunity at the throw. Short time here to be... Oh, they're going to go for the long throw with Jabri here, I think. Yep. As everybody's pretty much in the box. Inside of three players for the Lions. One minute remaining here. Mackey comes all the way out. Good read. Less than one minute remaining. Smart read. He came right out before the throw even occurred. Put that one down and played that one to Queen. Good idea. Oh. Good read by Afada. Falls to Cast. Queen to Coleman. Mm. Was in between two ideas right there. Yeah. I think he I don't think he wanted to go for goal quite yet. I think he's trying to still bring it down. It just flicked too far ahead of him. Is that, that is a good read by Barbie. Scott going long. That one falls to Harris. Cass has to be careful. Only 10 seconds, though. They're not going to get this off. Uh, okay. Oh, they okay. The so they stopped the though. clock for the Nittany Lions. Uh, Both head coaches showing frustration here. But I guess a last second chance here. Goalie's coming up. As Rogers. Nope. No, he's not. <laughs> it looked he's, like it. He got called right back. Maybe he wanted to. Maybe coach said no, no. Oh, and he is going in. Ali will make his way forward. I mean, seven seconds on the clock. And he'll go right back for the third time. He's just running wind sprints. Got to get those stats in. Mm -hmm. Rogers will be on the kick. Five seconds left. 
And out four, by Mara. Three, Last second two, chance for Rogers. Zero. Was not a bad looking shot at all, but high and wide. And the Eagles earned themselves a draw.